Welcome to Design Time. This is a segment where I use my skills as a game designer to design new things with the chat as a guide. And just the other day in a live workshop, we designed a new smite god. So what follows is the process of me interacting with the chat and using people to vote on what mechanics or ideas they'd like to see, and then guiding them to an answer to have a final result. This is just for fun. It's not something that is for a specific company or anything like that, but it's always fun to think about what could be. So let's jump into it. The very first question, okay, is what class is the god? So, let us begin. It is Ryan Reynolds. Hello. My name is Ryan Reynolds. Welcome to Death Deadpool 3. Um, no, 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 don't, don't type it out. Boom. One, two, three, four, or five in chat for what class you would like this god to be. Boom, 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 boom. Warrior's taking a lead. Assassin, Hunter not very popular. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, what Thunder do you think has the most creative kit? It's it's hard to say because I think I, I, I can get that to later, but I think creative is a like it's hard to say objectively what's creative because I think at the time what the meta called for, the creativity is a big part of that, right? So like if the meta had a lot of high mobility and you found a way to do low mobility, I think that's a very creative answer. So it's hard to say like if a kit was entirely just creative by itself. All right, so it is going to be a warrior. Ba Boom. Okay, so this is class, class warrior. All right, chat, tell me what you think a warrior is. Explain to me what a warrior is. Because I think this is a very important part of when you're, when you're, anytime you try to create anything, right? Trying to do anything creative, trying to work towards something, you want to be able to know where you're going with it, right? What is the goal? What are you trying to accomplish? Like where, what direction are you going in? So what is a warrior? So I see bully, I see frontline engage, I see beef <laughs> in your face brawler. Hybrid front line, what does that mean? Explain that, SXE. Because that can mean a lot of different things. Some CC, mild sustain, annoying, mold sustain. <laughs> Molder, annoying, okay. Self heal, able to take, and t take and deal damage. Okay, so what I, what I see from this is um, a lot of, so, you want some tanky, but you want the ability to, to deal some damage, right? So like, I think this is kind of pretty understanding, but bully slash, I'm gonna go, bully slash, bully brawler, right? So it generally means that uh, able to take some damage um, and deal some in return. Um, may include some CC and sustain, but not necessary. So generally what I'm getting from you guys is that you basically want this character to be able to um, take and deal damage, but not necessarily like crazy amounts of dealing damage, not crazy amounts of taking damage. And actually hybrid classes historically are some of the hardest characters to make because you have to walk that line so delicately because if you end up doing a little bit too much damage, like Arthur when he's spun up, then it's really hard to balance that. And if they end up taking, or, or like they end up being too tanky, then they become too hard to shut down. Does that make sense, right? So like hybrid characters are always really hard and it's actually why if you look at games like Heroes of the Storm, that's why they ended up making the warrior class just their tanks in general because it was so hard to make a warrior and a tank separate classes because it's hard to differentiate that, right? Um, so we want to be able to make this character a bully brawler, able to take some damage and deal some damage in return. Um, so I, the next question is going to be, um, what what does the game need right now? Anytime you're uh, creating content for a live games as a service game, you always want to think about, um, you know, especially in, in competitive metas that are very cyclical, 
if there's an A that's beating a B, does it need a C to beat an A, right? Is there something that the game needs right now that doesn't have that would help mix it up or counter something that's really popular or give you more options in the warrior? So anti-heal in the warrior role, more ladies, <laughs> okay. <laughs> a auto attack melee gods. Mobility punishment, mobility counters. Okay, another AA mage to deal with fizz building warriors. So maybe AA magic. A kill lane warrior support. Kill lane warrior support like Odin. That's so many things at once. Anti CC. What's up, Leaf? Yeah, man. Teleport. Okay, so let's let's do another poll then. Shield type ability, dueling. There's tons of dueling in the game. There's tons of dueling. Uh, let's try this. Okay, so I saw a lot of these come up. So which of these, type in chat, one, two, three, four, four, um, what you think the game needs the most of from Warriors right now? Six pack abs. <laughs> Functions like a warrior, but it's magical based, like a magical warrior. Uh, I, I think that's very possible, Ascending. That's very possible. You just have to kind of make sure you put enough uh, strength or um, weakness inside of it so it's, it's counterable. Do you ever have to limit God Designs due to tech? Oh, all the time. 100%. I would say almost every design is limited by tech. There's not a single design that we made that wasn't limited by tech. Right? And, and time, right? On how long it takes to create and what our schedule is. We always want to make sure that we're, we're doing things on a timely manner. Too many magical warriors. <laughs> Old Guan Yu. Oh, God. Dugga, 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 dugga. All right. One, two, three, or four. This is a pretty easy one. Okay. So anti-mobility is the winner. I don't think any of the other ones are going to come back from that. So anti-mobility is what we're looking for. So... We're gonna get rid of all these because um, I believe very firmly, every designer will be different, but I believe very firmly that you try to, you set a goal and you try to accomplish it. I think if you try to do too many things at once, that's when you get a very confused kit that's very mixed and mingled and doesn't have a lot of, like, it's just, like, I just don't like trying to do three or four things at once because I feel like you fail on all counts and you don't accomplish at least one or two of them that you're trying to do. So the one goal we're doing with this character is anti-mobility. So this is a bully brawler. Um, warrior that is really good against high mobility characters so what does anti-mobility mean and i think it's really important to identify what this means slows cripples probably stuff like um like uh being uh, if you guys i don't think we have this in smite but being able to recall enemies um so like the x marks the spot from um pirate guy uh pirate guy in dota or the uh disruptor guy so like recalling enemy movement like rewind it's a good one <clears throat> roots oh we look salt yeah being able to pull Momentum mechanic detects the distance of enemy movement for damage effect. Yeah, so like um, if you get uh, Bloodhound passive on a smite character. Yeah, yeah, Barracuda. That's exactly, okay, that's a, I didn't give you like a mod thing, John. I didn't know you were in here. Um, but I, that's what I was thinking as well. So like from Dota, the bleed thing, where if you move, you take damage. So something like that would be really cool. Sort of like anti-movement. Do you damage, something like that. They move it away from you, you tell it to them. Um, so like movement for you, that's interesting. So movement for you, if they move, something like that. <clears throat> Maybe a guy that can punish for movement. Yeah, that's kind of what uh, John was talking about, Barracuda, with uh, like the bleed from, is it, it's Bloodhunter, right? Bloodhunter from Dota, where you he'll make someone bleed, and if they don't move, they don't take any damage, but if they move, they start taking damage. Are you talking about Apex? Bloodhound passive, what's his passive? Oh, where he tracks people. Oh, movement tracking. You were talking about Apex. Oops. <laughs> so Blood Hunter from Dota where you can't move. And then Blood Hound from Apex is also good because you can track movement. So you know where play, uh, players are. And actually movement tracking, we've always tried to do at high res, but, we, but it's just hard to kind of keep track of where every character is moving all the time. Yeah, Bleed Like Darius, exactly. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, working some of the stuff in is good. So the next question is, is this god ranged or melee? There's not many um, ranged warriors, are there? Okay. One or two in chat. Silences work as any mobility. They do, yeah, that's a great point. That is a great point. No more hybrids. You guys maybe do hybrids every time. Hybrids are so hard. I did so last time I did a god workshop like this. You guys maybe do what was it? A dual character stance swapper that's both magic and physical? You guys are crazy. Do you have to be a melee to be a warrior? Do you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there is a ranged warrior. But what what says what makes you say you have to be um well, I think, I think Bully Brawler able to take damage and deal damage in return, right? So you definitely, that lends, lends itself to being more melee, right? Because range will want to sit on the back. But you could you could be like a medium range, right? There's no there's no law that says you can't be like, you know, uh, like a slightly increased melee range or something like that. Maybe you have a big long weapon or something like that. Some, somewhere in between melee and range, because you don't want to be too far away, right? Okay. So we're ranged. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so uh, character. So it is a ranged character. So what's interesting is our goal here is to do a bully brawl that's able to take damage and deal damage in return, and may include some CC and sustain. And uh, you don't really want, I mean, the reason we don't really do probably like all ranged warriors is because you don't want them sitting in the back line, right? You want them to be able to be in the fight, taking damage and dealing damage. So the question is, how do you make a ranged weapon for a character that you want to be able to be a brawler? Bologna's three, is that the hammer or is that the whip? Shotgun axe? <laughs> Well, before we get into specific weapons, I just want to, like, splash damage. Or three is the whip, okay. Yeah, yeah, which switches that out, right? It gives her a little bit more range, doesn't it? Pole arm. Oh, spears, actually. So, like, like distanced, range, distanced melee. Something like that. That's cool. Ooh. Um, strong point. Just the tip. Freya toggle. It doesn't necessarily need to be a toggle. It could be just their their basic weapon, right? They could have more ranged. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So, uh, we basically it sounds like we're gonna go for medium range. Um. Now, obviously, so what's cool about I don't know if I can like draw this. I need to like do like paint or something. Yikes. Okay, so what's cool about that, right, is you you could, um, so like melee, so if you have like character here, melee can usually be a cone, like you think about Jormungandr or something like that, right, where he's able to do range. But generally, if you were to, um, if, if this is long range and this is medium range, you don't really want to cone medium range, right? <laughs> Because then it would just be, this is just a cone, right? This is like Hoonbots is two, right? Where he just hits that. So what you really want to do, oh my god, I forgot it's not Photoshop. I have to. <laughs> ah! I should do some Photoshop. I totally should. Um, so what you could do is you could do something like this where um, it's more like Medusa, where it's like a wedge. So you could do like a, a wedge. Um, yeah, I could John Madden this. Right, sure, come on, I'm gonna um, So maybe something like that. So that sounds cool. So maybe we do like kind of like a spear with a medium range. So it is it is melee, um, but it is something that is um, ha has a little bit more distance to it. Um, and what's interesting about that, right, is the question is what kind of attack rate do you want? Because if you have range on it. How do I phrase this? Um, when you are melee and you auto attack, you slow yourself, 
right? And when you want to chase people, auto attacking a lot will slow you down a lot. So you want to kind of work that into how you work on this. If you're attacking someone from a medium range, you probably want to attack slower. So each hit is more purposeful and you have time to reposition in between rather than spamming an auto attack. Cause it would be really annoying if you have to think about both the person that's playing and the person that's playing against it. It would be really annoying if like there was like a Kali style attack speed, but they're attacking you from like medium range. That would be really annoying, right? It's almost like a hunter at that point. And we don't really want damage dealing, we want brawler. So maybe the attack rate is slow, slow, slow to medium, right? So something that allows you to kind of like get very purposeful hits in and reposition, but you're still in the fight to take damage and deal damage. Your primary purpose is not to be an assassin or a hunter where you're auto attacking it really fast and spamming. I realize it's like a shake weight like motion I'm doing right here, but but you get the point. Um, where you're not, you don't really want to be like kind of like spamming. Maybe you want to have something more purposeful because your goal is not there to be auto attacking and dealing damage. Our goal is to slow down mobility and be a brawler. Um, okay, so we have that. Now the question is, what's the theme? So what are some theme ideas for anti-mobility? I think this is really important for building a cohesive kit, right? Because um, like, you know, when you're working on something like Opwash, necromancy and corpse explosions was kind of the big thing, right? You wrap everything around that. So you wanna have, what is the theme that makes sense? So what, what in your mind, when I say anti-mobility um, comes to mind? Chains, ropes, um, glue, ice. So ice, chain, Rope, glue, quicksand, um, hamstrings. So maybe like yeah, like like dealing damage their their movement faculties. Uh, so like crippling, earth, oil, vines, <clears throat> wires. A biking hunter. <laughs> Well, before we go all the way to Viking, you just want to get one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. Grab tremors, which is kind of like earth. Tremors. Something like that. Gravity. That's cool. Wind. All right. So let me put a couple of these into... Uh... So I would definitely agree with um, earth. Tremors. Quicksand, chains, ice. We have, I mean, we have like Aries and stuff like that for chains. We don't have a lot of rope. We don't have a lot of glue or oil, right? Tentacles, <laughs> dimensions. Gravity is a cool idea. I don't think we have a lot of gravity. You kind of do with like Merlin's um, arcane, but. We have a lot. Of, we have a lot of ice gods already. Uh, wind, I don't think applies. Wind to me is pushing and pulling, not necessarily um, anti. We have a lot of vines in nature. Uh, honey, yeah. Anti magic is cool. Slime, yeah. So like glue slash slime slash oil. I'm gonna get rid of vines in nature because we have a lot of those. I'm gonna get rid of earth because we have a lot of those. I'm gonna get rid of ice because we have a lot of those. Just to kind of fo force it into, uh... let's do that. Okay, just to force this, let's try this. Chains, oil, gravity, or glue. What's the theme? Type one, two, three, or four in chat. But I feel like we, I mean, we have Terra, we have like so much Earth, we have Geb, like there's a lot of Earth in the game. I don't wanna like replay that old, it's too old hat, you know? It's too old hat. One, two, three, four in chat for what you'd like to see. Chains, oil, gravity, glue. Hmm. This looks like a pretty easy win. <laughs> uh, chains is kind of coming up. The only reason I like hesitate on Chains is because we already have Aries and he's, very much like anti-mobility. He's got a cripple and a pull and all that very chain heavy, right? So it's like, you don't really want to do the same thing over and over. It feels kind of kind of silly. And dodgy, yeah, I got chains on that stuff too. Okay, gravity it is. Okay, 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 gravity. So the theme is gravity. Okay. So let's wrap back to the weapon. 
What sort of uh, grab? So like weapons. Gravity themed, mid range, slow swinging weapons. Go. Gravity themed, mid range, slow attack rate weapons. What do you got? Nets, like gravity nets, lasers, <laughs> giant rocks. That's too earthy. Gravity, pendulum. Ooh. Like the gravity, the grav guns, something like that, something techy. Energy weapon. Abacus, <laughs> throwing it. Throwing axes isn't gravity based. Grav well generators. Oh, oh God. Um, the freaking the monk from Inuyasha that had like the palm that like created a black hole in his palm. Whack-a-mole hammer, gauntlet. You can make gauntlet work. Ball and chain's too physical. You want gravity. Gravity or um, a vacuum spear. Yeah, because you could do you could do kind of more uh, magnetic things too. Like Magneto kind of has that same effect. Enigma from Dota. Yeah, something something cosmic. I think cosmic could be cool. <laughs> a vacuum spear. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Introducing the new Dyson Vacuum Spear. Suck your enemies off. I mean, in. I mean, in. Gravity Hammer, that could be cool. Telekinesis. Is that spelled right? <laughs> a weapon or a black hole that sucks people in when you attack in a three-hit chain. It doesn't necessarily have to be a spear, right? You just want a gravity-themed, mid-range, slow-attacking weapon. Okay, so let's do this. So let's try this. One, two, or three. Vacuum spear, grab gauntlet, or telekinesis. Because I think those are all kind of separated. One's like a gadget, one is an actual physical weapon, and one is um, more mental kind of powers, that kind of thing. Vacuum spear, grab gauntlet, or telekinesis. One, two, three, or one, two, or three in chat. Hit me. You're making Thanos. <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet. I mean, it could just be a gadget that he has on his hand. It could be a wrist-driven thing, too. It could be uh, a lot of different things, actually. Personally. <clears throat> Looks like Grav Gauntlet is winning. We, we literally are making Thanos. How about that? I mean, Thanos is kind of like a warrior. And he does have powers. You know? All right, grab gauntlet it is. Okay, so we have a, the theme is gravity. And we have ourselves a grab gauntlet. Gravity, a grab gauntlet. So what is a grab gauntlet? What does that mean? What does a grab gauntlet mean? Sucks them off. <laughs> so the ability to push and pull. You guys are getting dangerously close to the, a, ma a magnetic character I always wanted to make. Well, we're just talking about the weapon right now. This is just the weapon. This isn't any of the abilities. Well, I mean, it could have be tied to the abilities, but just the weapon itself. We wanted a medium range thing. What's interesting about this is... Um, Magnetic forces, if you guys don't know, are it's one of the one of the only forces in um, in physics actually that has a a very short effective range. Like if you ever take two magnets together, it's like they are applying force to each other, but there's a certain point, right? There's a point in order to return where all of a sudden it'll like suck together. So it's like a very short, intense, effective range um, for mag magnetics, and then outside that range, it falls off pretty hard. So it's actually kind of interesting for like a weapon to work that way, where like there's like a medium range. Um, and maybe the closer to you it gets, it's stronger. Um, and that might be an interesting way to make a medium ranged melee character um, want to get close and be a brawler because they may be they're more effective up close rather than farther away. 
So maybe like a push pull. That could be cool. Punch one, punch two, vacuum. It's like a hit chain. That could be cool. Interesting. It'd be, I think it'd be probably too much to put a CC like a pull on the auto attack, something that's very reproducible because that would just become, I feel like that would be way too much unless there's like a modifier in the kit where like your next auto attack pulled or something like that. I, I don't know. CC on a, on a hit chain that's, that has no cooldown and no, like, there's no counter to that, right? Like, as long as they're attacking. And I think when you do it that way, you also almost force the character to go attack speed base so they can get that part of the hit chain more often, which I think is a little bit too much for this character. We didn't want this character to be an auto attack character. Pull material to himself. Have it suck option that is slow and suck people into you. Um, so maybe for now, let, let's come back to this. So grab gauntlet, maybe like a medium ranged kind of thing okay so we talked about um anti-mobility uh, being slows cripples recalling enemy movement rewinds roots pulls anti-movement due to damage movement for you if they move movement tracking silence and personally for me i always like doing something that is really outside the box um i don't like um be oh my my headset just died i guess it doesn't really matter because i'm not listening to anything so that's fine um so to me, I like the the limitation of not trying to repeat yourself. Um, so what we could do is we could say, maybe we don't, I mean, cripple's probably uh, pretty obvious. Uh, slows are probably pretty obvious, but maybe we don't do like roots, right? Like we have a lot of roots in the game um, and there's also a lot of slows in the game. And it might be interesting to do something like, I don't know, let's try it. Um, so primary anti-mobility. So maybe we do um, triple anti-movement due to damage, tracking, um, rewind. <clears throat> Besides vortex type where it pulls, uh, pulling. This one, I don't know, this one's kind of interesting. So try, let's try this. One, two, three, four, or five. Because, that you know, there, there's going to be a mixture. I think slow is probably going to be in there no matter what. Um, tracking in and of itself to me doesn't scream anti-movement character because you want to be able to do something once you find the enemy, right? You can't just like, hey, I tracked this person and now I can't do anything about it. I would say banish is definitely anti-mobility for sure. Um, but anti-movement anti due to damage is interesting. This is the, um, the ultimate for... Uh... So this is kind of what I'm talking about here. Um... If I hide the pole real quick. This is a very interesting anti. So you see how like once he has this effect on him, if he moves, he takes damage. This actually gets used a lot in kind of boss based games, um, RPG games, things like that, where you limit mobility, but you have the ability to kind of like, you know, it forces them to stand still. It's almost like a, um, it's, it's like indirect CC is what I like to call it, where it's like you're forcing them to take an action. They don't have to, they can run if they want to, but there's a, a detriment to it. Um, okay, where did that? Pull go. Bring the pull back. Shibalonke ultimate kind of... It, it, yeah, that's indirect CC. I would call that indirect CC. Pulling. Anti-movement due to damage. Tracking, rewind, and cripple. Okay, so that's actually... That fits the theme, so let's do that. So finish. Okay, so pulling it is. So the primary way of anti-movement... Let me plug my headset in so I actually have power. I get the power! the power okay so um primary anti 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 mobility is pulling um who do we have that pulls in the game right now what's up after that um we have aries ult sylvanas grab kind of the kepri kepri grab as well a wheelix pull Hercules pull, Sobek throw, Merlin's grabby thingy, Daji ultimate. Okay. So this is an uh, let's see. This is an ult. Daji is an ult. Ares is an ult. Athena Taunt, I I think that's it's close, but it's slightly slightly different. 
Um, these are all single abilities. These two are guardians, right? Sub exo guardian. And what's interesting is, is Hercules the only warrior that has a pull right now? Baron ultimate, but that's an ultimate as well, right? Now, Tyr has a push, not a pull. Tyr, if Tyr wants to bring you to the team, he has to get behind you, right? So that's a push. What does the Susano 2 do? Is it, it is an ult as well, right? It is ult. These are all ult. So this is, this is interesting. It, is it like a vortex? It's a cone pull. Does it pull you straight in? I haven't played Susano. I don't know. Hades ult. Yep. Good point. It's like a... And then Susano... So it just pulls... Is it instant? It pulls you in like that. Interesting. Um, Gev doesn't have a pull. He has a knockout. That pulls him to you. Okay. So right now we have... Is there anything else? Are we missing any? Is that all of it? That's probably all of it, right? So we have a mage that has a pull, a vortex. Uh, Zing Tian ultimate. It's kind of more of a grab. It's a grab. Cerberus. What does Cerberus do? I haven't played him. And I guess Poseidon. Like Poseidon's... His ult picks everyone up and pulls them to a location. It's like Ares. Okay. So that's another ultimate. I wouldn't, I wouldn't count taunts now. Uh, okay. So the ones that are... So we have... Uh, he's a guardian. Warrior. Okay. So we have two mages that have a, a vortex. We have one warrior that has a pull. And then we have an assassin that has a, a vortex. So it's actually, we kind of touched on something that's, that's uh, not really oversaturated in Smite, interestingly enough, right? So a warrior with a pull ability is actually pretty pretty uh, new, especially if you focus a lot of the kit on it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, kind of like that'd be cool. That could be cool. So, so the question is, Hercules is a pop-up, right? Uh, does the Sono just like, like just like pulls you, just like slides you along the ground. Is that what it does? So it'll just kind of like pull you a little bit closer to him. So like Kirby style. Is that what it does? Okay. Um, so I guess we'll probably, I mean, that's kind of, as far as options for pulling, you have the pull, which is an instant sly, which technically isn't a hard CC. It just relocates them, but they're still, it's, it's fast and they still have movement, right? Versus something like Hercules where it's a knockup pull where they're, they can't take action. They're forced on a, on a specific path. Um, but we're saying that we want this character to be anti-mobility, which being able to pull does make sense, right? Because um, that's kind of what a Wheelix's ult does, right? Where if you reposition yourself and then get knocked up, it will bring you back to where you were. Um, so... Oh, what you actually you could do you could do a tether, where they get pulled into something. Do we have any tethers in this game? I guess we have the o Osiris tether, but that's a stun. <clears throat> has two pulls: his knockup pulls and his ult is a vortex while charging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. You know, Osiris is a stun tether, and that is a, that's a warrior. Okay, so we want basically a pull of some kind. And if we're gravity based, I think we want to be able to pull him. So we have the, the medium range attack. So maybe um, abilities, so ability ideas. You could do like a just basic pull, which is like a slide. Um, you could do a location based pull, which is like a tether, like Osiris tether, but pulls you in. Um, kind of like a vortex basically. Location based pull, which is like vortex tether. Um, you could also do, um, I feel like this kind of lends itself actually back to a rewind. I know you guys didn't vote for that, but I think that actually could work where you could say, um, like mark and then they're pulled back to where they were. What if it chains them to something and then they are fine as long as they stay in the circle? Um, so like, so like, it's kind of like a Ganesh ult, right? 
pressure pull after an attack based on current passive. Comes far enough a cursor like a reverse corner soul. Yeah, kind of like a reverse corner soul. Um, but the idea here is you want to be able to prevent mobility, right? So say you're going up against a Pele or you're going up against like a Bastet or things like that. The question is, if you have a pull slide like Susana O, does that actually counter mobility or is that just a way to initiate? I think that's kind of the distinction that you have to make, right? Because if you have a vortex, to me that just works on everybody. That isn't really as specific to countering mobility, right? I think like a wheel exalt is probably one of the best examples of countering mobility in that if you relocate, she will relocate you, right? She she counters the fact that you are moving around a lot. <clears throat> Tether into an angry circle of the movement out of the circle, they get pulled back to the center. Um, well, it's kind of like the Osiris thing, right? Where you have the stun, but I feel like, I guess you could, right? You could say that, um, you could say that like rewind, which is like a mark, right? So if they, huh. You know what? Do we have anything in the game now where there's like an area, if anyone uses a, a dash or a movement ability, they, they, they suffer in some way? Is that in the game right now? I can't think of anything. So say there's like just this carpet on the ground and if you use a dash or a jump or anything like that, you get punished in some way. Does that exist? Just cripples. Okay. So maybe there's like a anti-mobility, like, li like quite literally an anti-mobility zone. So maybe it's like you put this zone down and if you're in it, nothing, like maybe it's like a slight slow, nothing really bad happens to you. But if you use a dash or use a jump or use a leap or use anything that relocates, or even use like a movement speed stim or something like that, maybe something bad happens to you. Maybe you get stunned, maybe you get knocked up, uh, maybe you get silenced, um, something like that. But like, it's almost like a do or you don't. I'm, I'm really a big fan of like, um, like having really high risk reward like there's there's a there's a big positive, but because of that, there's a negative that goes along with it. Like there's some kind of duality that makes it really interesting. Um, so anti mobility zone would be really cool. Um, so something like that, where like you get some kind of punish. Um, a location based pull. I think I, I'm starting to feel like interesting. I actually come. I almost have a kit in my head based on these three things. But I like the pull based on the gravity idea. Like pop. What does Poppy do? In League of Legends, what, what are her abilities? There's so many characters memorized, it's crazy. Isis has, no, Isis is more of a, that's more of like a team fight, stand in place, right? Like more damage, it soaks up damage and then heals or does damage, but that could be really cool. Can your movement be buffed if they move? Maybe, could be. Sky's the limit, baby. This is the roots people who dash into it. Root could be interesting. Ooh. Okay, real quick, real quick, just just for my own creative process. W close your eyes, and what's the first thing you picture when you think of gravity? I know it popped up for me, but I don't know what popped up for you guys. The first thing you think of when you think of gravity. Space, John Mayer. <laughs> Tom. Oh my God, dude. Black hole, right? A black hole. <clears throat> So it's gonna be more like a cosmic character. Spheres, black hole, suction. Cause I think, I mean, that's kind of what space is, right? You get more gravity and more, um, I mean, there's not like, there's it's a vacuum out there, right? So all you have is the force of gravity, the force of, of magnesis. So you have, that, as far as like physical interactions, there's no like air friction. There's no, cause it's a vacuum, right? So all you really get is that suction. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I mean, you can even do like maybe you create the space like the vacuum of space in an area and that's what like if you try to move too fast that that's what you know there's could be a theme there it could be really interesting um okay so i think the anti-mobility zone is uh probably one of the most interesting ones to me right now so anti-mobility zone so what is a oh god whatever okay so and so this is a zone you place down that prevents rapid movement so uh, if you use a dash, a jump, um, or high movement, or a move, or like high movements increase, or a charge, you suffer. So how do you suffer? 
What are ways you can suffer if you do things inside that zone? <clears throat> Have a shield that can take all projectiles around you, has them orbit you, and then shoots them back. That could be cool. That could be really cool. Stun. Silence. Um, so what pops in my mind is... <laughs> your team instantly loses. <laughs> what pops in my mind is... Um, and this could... It depends on how this turns out. This could end up being an ultimate or not. Um, but what pops in my mind is maybe there's like a collapsing star appears. And if anyone moves too quickly, it turns into a black hole, which maybe like sucks everyone in and stuns. Or maybe that's too, like, maybe that's too Aries ultimate. Um, or actually what you could do is... Ooh, this could be interesting. I'll leave that there. Um, uh, zone is neutral until triggered by movement. Once triggered, um, gravity is greatly increased, rooting all enemies inside, and maybe like silencing. It's almost like a cripple, right? So what you could do is you could put it down and dealing and maybe and just dealing damage. Uh, so what you could do is you could put it down and what uh, I think it could be strong enough to be like a, a stun or a root because uh, it's something that the enemy had to take action to do right. The enemy could have very easily walked out of the zone and not use a movement ability. So very so like I think that because there's a choice there, you can actually have a pretty strong effect on it because there's a, a, a duality to it right. There's a positive and a negative. Um, so put the zone down and if someone gets moved rapidly, um, maybe they get rooted and they take damage. Instead of a zone, you activate it and if anyone turns their character away from you. Um, no, because I think, I think this should be a very much like a, if you try to move too fast in my area, uh, whether you're looking at me or not, I will be able to punish you. Um, root silence that spins around 180 degrees. <laughs> You spin me right around. A fear could be interesting. Fear could be interesting. Um, so if they use a movement ability, they fear. I think the, the the crux of this would have to be the movement ability you try to use gets canceled, right? Or not. That's an interesting question. Does the movement ability actually get triggered? I think you have the answer is no, because if it's a jump and it goes off, then it's kind of moot, right? It has to be canceled. So I guess the game would have to know that you use some kind of rapid thing and you'd have to get basically, that would just get canceled, go on cooldown. And if you're in the zone, you can't do it. Um, but I like the idea that there's a zone here. If you use a movement ability inside of it, uh, maybe you get rooted and take damage or you get silenced or you get feared or some kind of effect that goes on to that. So that's one ability. I think that's really cool. Um, so it's a leap counter, right? So you put it on the ground and if they try to leap, they get, they get rooted instead. And maybe the leap goes on cooldown and they take damage, but they know once they're in the zone, you cannot do anything really fast. Um, or maybe they can get out, but based on how far they went, that's how much damage they take or something like that, okay? Um, interesting. So for a warrior, warriors need to have some way to clear the lane, right? Because you can't really play a warrior in the solo lane without the ability to push. So the question is, what is a way for this character to be able to deal damage to minions, if at all possible? I mean, what you could say is you could say maybe this character can do a pull, and maybe that pull triggers the zone, and that zone then does damage to minions. Maybe anyone inside the zone. <clears throat> An ability that is time that you absorb missiles, and you can use them to launch back an opponent of choosing. A gravity slam. Come on and jam. <laughs> Miss Old Noxalt was really punishing for spam mages. What was the Old Noxalt? If they cast, they take damage. Is that what it is? Or they silence themselves? Gravity fist falls in the sky. You guys and your gravity slams. I swear. Take damage. Gravity slam. You place a black hole. If they move too fast and you're they suffer extreme time dilation and age a thousand years are removed from the game. <laughs> so we've got ourselves a gauntlet that is medium range. We've got ourselves an anti-mobility zone that if you move quickly inside of it, you something bad happens to you. Um, and then you probably want some kind of basic ability to balance this out. So maybe um, you could do a role like Kepri where you kind of do have a progressive zone out, or 
Hmm. You could also do a um, a a slow to like a uh, an increasing slow, right? That that feels very gravity based to me. Where like you have a zone area, or you do something where like you apply a slow, and they start slowing down more and more as the gravity kind of kicks up, right? It's like it's like Vegeta in the in the training cell where he like get inside of it, and the gravity kicks up, and you can't move as well. Mega pull lets you combo into the star. Picked up minions, so a master of gravity. That could be interesting. The zone is wrapped around you. That could be interesting. So you 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 like anyone around you that moves. So it's like an AOE around you. <clears throat> so maybe let's just let's just throw that down right there. Maybe just like a heavy slam. Just kind of a basic damage 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 ability, something like that. Um, and so what about this idea of a pull? What you could say is you could say you put the zone down, you can, you can trigger the zone yourself with a pull. Because I think what would be really irritating for this character is if they had no way of triggering the, the zone themselves. And I think for the most part, I think at a competitive level, that'd be very powerful, right? Because it's an indirect CC. So if you pop the zone, you have it on top of you, you put it down somewhere, and people can't dash when they're inside of it, it can it can be very effective. But I think for the general populace of people playing the game, it might feel fairly, kind of irritating if you put the zone down and people just walk out of it, right? The idea that they walk out of it is powerful in and of itself, but I think it won't feel very good for the average player if you put it down and you don't really have some kind of satisfying result from it or you don't have some way to do it. So I think there has to be probably some pull that triggers triggers this zone, right? Gravity pull that pulls you only four units, so it's not directly in front of you, but closer to it. So the question is, how do you target a pull if you're Gravity Man? I'm Gravity Man. How do I target the pull? Uh, if it's if it's auto targeted, like you place on someone, that usually doesn't feel very good because it means that there's not enough of a a give and take between you and your target, right? Because you just place it on them and they just react. They're like there's nothing. There, there's no there's no gameplay there, right? There's no like dodging it. There's no projectile. You can do something where you throw like a little black hole, like a uh, meatball from Vulcan, and then that's dodgeable. And there's some kind of interplay between that. Um, but the question is, how do you how do you target a pull? Sylvanas pull, like a projectile that goes out, hits them and pulls them back. You know what could be really fun actually? You could do we have any do we have any two vector abilities in Smite? Like you can click it on the ground and flick it in a direction. Um and and what if you mouse over them like a Loki ultimate with a small circle and pulls them back? No, because I, I, anything auto-targeted like that isn't going to feel very good. The more you can make it an auto shot, AMC Honey, yeah, something like that could be really cool. So you paint. Hmm. So what could you use? What could you use the honey idea for for a pull? You could you could almost just cause it where you can maybe paint and anything touched gets pulled to each other. But I feel like we already have that with Discordia. Um, you could do something where it's almost like you're painting like a cone or like an arc and it pulls anything in that arc towards you. But then when you get gaps, it's kind of weird. So old, yeah, that could be in, like that, that's kind of like the AMC paint. Would a pull that does damage based on distance be good? It could, it could. Um, it'd be, I think the problem with Smite is that it's just very depth perception based, so it's kind of hard to uh, do pulls like that because um, you don't really know how far it is. That is you're right, Ambu. That is pretty much a taunt. <laughs> it's a non-hard CC based taunt is what that would be. So what's a cool way to pull? What's a cool way to target a pull? Something new, something different. Horizontal Yanus portal. Mm, too many gravity spears. A tether that works based on limiting range distance, like a magnet. But I, I like the idea of it being something that is that has some kind of interplay with it. And if you're trying to do this around the zone, right, the zone itself um, would have a delay. So you'd want to have some kind of skill shot that makes them pull.
pull on gravity lines, aka geodesics. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're getting advanced, man. More of a throw than a pull. So we have the hook, right? I think what could be really interesting is you, I like the idea of not just pulling to you, but pulling in any direction. It's almost like an omnidirectional Hercules um, knockup, something like that. Like here's a ball that starts away from you and slowly cones to you. I mean, you could do it like, um, like, uh, God, who's the who's the big girl in, um, like the gravity girl in Overwatch, where you shoot a projectile and they're pulled to the projectile. Zarya, yeah, Zarya. That's kind of an interesting idea. We can pull them inside of that, um, and that way it's not necessarily tied to you. That would be very similar to Merlin. You're right. Hmm. Maybe we do, maybe we do, so like, just to kind of get this out on paper, uh, mark targets and pull them to each other. You could do a vortex style. I'm looking for something new though. What is pulling? Um, so if you went more Capri style, where you're kind of like, almost like towing something, you could actually maybe. What what if what if on the idea of, of marking targets, what if you? <laughs> this is interesting. What if <laughs> what if you like tugboat right? Where you're like maybe you like throw this thing that marks them, and whenever the tether hits, that's the max distance you and the target that's linked to you can get from each other. So if you it's almost like a ranged Kepri thing, right? Where you could like grab them. And if they can't get any further away from this, if you grab them and start walking back to your tower, they <laughs> they, they almost tugboat with you <laughs> when they get kind of dragged or something. And you both have, that's actually really cool for anti-mobility, right? Because if you're saying you and me can now no longer be any further away from each other than we are right now, then if you're like a Neath and you try to backflip or if you're someone that tries to jump away, it's almost like a built-in a Wheelix ultimate, right? So if they try to get too far away, they'll get pulled back. You are now you are now saying, hey, this person and I are gonna stay at max this far away. And if I go back, they come with me. And maybe if you stand still and they go back, you get pulled too. Um, the only challenge with that is like trying to like server correct movements on the fly could be really, really tough. So you'd have to like find some clever way to bunch that into like maybe it only updates every half second or second. So it's not like it's always like yanking them, but maybe it just, it'll jut you like a suction pull every now and then. But that could be really interesting when you have like, uh, so you basically like, like link yourself to enemy, then limit max distance. So they cannot get farther away from you than they are right when that links. So that means that if you're a high mobility character, doesn't matter how fast you are, doesn't matter how, how much movement you have, doesn't matter how, what like movement abilities you have, you're gonna stay at least this close to that person. That could be really cool. Can be light and heavy gravity. If you're light and you go to them and heavy come to you, ult to shield that won't let enemies enter or leave. That's pretty cool. Like an Afro's kiss. Yeah, exactly. So it's like an Afro's kiss, but if it snaps, there's some kind of negative or maybe they literally cannot go further than that. Like it will stop them from moving. <clears throat> Splits up team fight in one move. Okay, so that's interesting. And then another idea that could be cool is like a rewind. You could do something where, and this could actually be a team fight ultimate. So this actually might be way too strong, but you could mark you mark enemies and return them to where they were when mark was applied. And you could do that to a whole team. That actually probably is too powerful because you could basically like. The problem with that is you can link up like Poseidon ultimates and things like that. It's like an Ares ult or a Daji ultimate, but then you know people are gonna come back to where they were. Um, you'd probably have to limit the time strange on it, but it, it, it would be it would be really, I don't know, that'd be a hard one to balance if you do it for more than one character, right? Cause like even, even like, well, I guess Ares does it to everybody. And you could beads it. So I guess that's not too bad. So Mark needs to return to where they were when Mark was applied. Okay, there might be enough for a kit here. 
bash them into space. Okay, let's take a stab at it. So, weapon is a grav gauntlet. Ability one, ability two, ability three, ability for an ultimate. Uh, other question is, does this character have a movement ability? Does anti-movement guy have a movement ability? Hmm? Hmm? A phase shift? I think that's too defensive. Oh, passive, you're right. No movement ability. Okay, so that's kind of like his like kind of joie, like <laughs> blessing and the curse he's he's anti-movement but he himself does not or she him, herself does not does not move very much okay so the question is of these i think the anti-movement zone has to be a regular ability it has to happen enough where the character overall can be really good at uh so anti-mobility -mo zone i like that idea um and maybe you just do like heavy slam and then the question is, do you want to just put together, I think they're probably in the basic kit should be a way to trigger the anti-mobility zone. So maybe there's a, or maybe not. Maybe you don't need to. Hmm. Jumps up a three-point landing. So let's try this. Let's do uh, some movement tether here. And then maybe the ultimate is um, it's like AOE rewind. So something like that. So you have basically some kind of some kind of clear with the one. You have the movement tether with the two and the anti-mobility zone with the three. And I think that's probably fine for a basic kit because in that case, the character as written does not actually have a way to trigger the, move, the mobility zone, but what they could do is they could trigger the movement tether and then stand in the zone. So the enemy player cannot do any mobility because they can't leave the zone technically. And I think that's probably fine enough for them to be able to um, just kind of use their kid that way. The question is, does that, tr does that fit our goal of doing bully brawler, able to take some damage and deal some damage in return? You could do the slam can just trigger it. Maybe. Is there any kind of recovery or defense here? I mean, you could do something where like the number of enemies around them gives them defense. So it's almost like, like the opposite of a Thor passive, right? Where Thor gets damage based on number of enemies. This person gets defense based on the number of enemies. So it's a little bit tankier. So like, like the more like gravity, like the more physical bodies there are around it, the more the tankier it gets. Kind of like an Oni passive actually, yeah. That's pretty much, yeah. It doesn't really play too much with the other few abilities, but it is something that kind of ties it together. Is that Afro passive? What's Afro passive? Heals on a new ability, okay. So AOE, movement tether, anti-mobility zone, AOE rewind. Something that gives them tankiness. So maybe maybe this indirect CC, indirect CC is how many gods are on. Oh, okay. So they must have reworked that. I don't remember that being the case. Hmm. Ooh. What if that could be interesting? Heal when movement abilities are used around you. You can do heal or you can do movement speed, but I feel like it should be more tanky. Or maybe you gain like a like a period of, of uh, you gain movement speed, you can gain, you can heal, or you can get defenses. So you get like a, a, a period of protections based on if someone moves around you, right? 
This passer could spawn little gravity fields every X seconds that when he passes over them, he gets a shield or movement speed or something. That could be interesting. A little gravity field. Maybe like his footsteps behind him or something like that. He just poops out black holes. This one I think is too, not very reproducible, right? Because you could actually get into, a, you have to think about this. You could get into a game where, well, I guess if you, if you include movement speed in this, maybe not. Based on theater, result, resets for full and adds to on short time for each god, each of the finally effect zone. Shield gives small movement speed buff like that. Not people with CCU stack give a raw like passive. Mm -hmm. Refreshable shield. That's kind of the one thing that's not clicking for me. The passive. So I think for the grab gauntlet, you just do um, medium ranged attacks at slow rate. I think that's just basic enough. That's fine. Um, and then if anyone uses a movement ability. It gives you a shield. That's actually pretty, I think that's actually enough. So if like, um, so if like if a mana charges you, you get a shield. If Sun Wukong charges you, you get a shield. If Kuko Khan jumps on you, you get a shield. If Tear dashes into you, you get a shield. And I think that actually plays really well into the brawler aspect and actually allows him to probably duke it out one-on-one -on -one in the solo lane and be able to kind of fight with assassins as well. So like when uh, Kukul Klain or Kukul whatever freaking Kukul Kaka, not Kukul Khan, Chukulakalaka, Chukukulakala, the transforming dude nugget. Um, but basically if anyone initiates on you with a movement ability, you get a shield. Uh, maybe that was like a scaling of, yeah, Ku. Chulain, Kuka Chuka, Kuko Loco, Loco Laka, El Pollo Loco. <laughs> what happens if Merc goes through an anti mobility zone completely? The game ends and the server crashes. <laughs> Kukolin, Kuku Kukolain, Chuka Laka 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 Loco, El Pollo Loco. <laughs> so I think that actually works. So anytime someone moves, a, uh, moves aggressively, uh, and this probably even includes like speed stims and things like that. You get a shield. Uh, Cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. There you go. Uh, movement tether, I think, makes sense. So, anytime. So, tether, you and target can no, can not be any further apart than, than, than X distance, or maybe like maybe how far you were when tethered. <clears throat> I think you, you you can move freely and they can move freely. It's just it, it limits the distance you can be. This is uh, any en enemies that use move movement ability inside zone get rooted and take damage. So they stop moving. Um, and actually, I wonder the, this this passive could probably include blinks too. Maybe just any any kind of movement. Any kind of movement triggers the passive. Blink, jump, dash, speed, etc. And then this is just like a just a basic, like maybe like a rectangle, like a line damage, something basic. <clears throat> and then the be beads would just remove the tether, I would think. And that, yeah, I think you can put the the zone down, tether them, and then stand in the zone so they can't leave it, right? Yeah, they think speed too, because then you can stop um, like Poseidon, you can stop Pele. And then I think this, uh, maybe this like marks all enemies at their enemies after X time, enemies are returned to where they were marked. And I think you can play with how long that X time is. Um, it's almost like, so what, what could be interesting about that though, and I think that's what would make it different than, um, let's just do new. So here, here's the difference, right? So like if this is, say this is, uh, say this is Ares, right? If Ares marks these people, 
he pulls them all to one location, which is very powerful, right? But he has to be arranged to do it. But I think this this character instead could do it where like, you know, if he marked all the, or if she, right? If she marked all these people here, they would, no matter where they went, they would all come back to where they were. So I think you could probably make this, unlike areas where it's around around him, you could probably make it ranged. It's like, a, like a, maybe it's like a ground target or something like that. But that way you know that the characters will come back to where they were. So they're trying to flee to a tower, they're trying to wrap around a wall, or maybe they, they, they blink or jump away. They'll get yanked back to where they were if they don't beat. So it's almost like a, like a, a little bit different flavor onto what that team fight ultimate is. Tether can give you bonus damage against the target, which is tethered. Uh, maybe. I mean, it depends. You can play with stuff like that. I think those are kind of smaller details you could play with in playtesting. But that could, that could be pretty easy. Uh, but I think this is, this is pretty interesting. I think this is enough. Like, at this point, what we would consider this is that we would just start playtesting and just see if uh, any of this works or if it works the way we think it does or if it actually has that kind of power. But, yeah. There you go. I think, I think this is uh, pretty interesting. So you could, you could, I think this is something different, right? You have a medium range melee attack. Uh, you, and this, the question is, does this come back and, and accomplish our goals? Does this kit focus entirely on anti-mobility? And is it more of a brawler based melee character with a theme of gravity? Do we feel like this accomplishes the goal we set out to do? Yes or no? I think it does. I think it gains tankiness, which accomplishes the brawler aspect, right? If anyone moves a lot, um, I wouldn't want to pick like a a Pele or a very high mobility assassin against this character. Uh, Alk doesn't think so. But this isn't this isn't like this isn't like full ranged, it's like medium range. Maybe this is like a cone. Maybe this like makes up for the push. But you could you could play it. This could be melee if you wanted. But you could play with that. What would you say doesn't do it for you, Prince or Alk? I mean, the movement tether anti-mobility zone and AOE rewind are pretty much entirely anti-mobility. That's pretty scary. Ultimate might be a bit, might be a bit too much. That's true. You can find another ultimate for that. Yeah, I think so. Cool. I think that does it. I think that's a good, uh, that's a cool, it's a cool kit. I think you can't really hammer it all out now because you'd have to kind of create it and play test it and try anything. But I think this is a pretty interesting kind of direction. So there, there's your, there's your workshop, everybody. <laughs> there's your workshop, everybody. Woohoo! If that was the kind of content you guys like. Um, I'll probably post this up on YouTube as well. But if it's kind of content, why is that not? Why is that blurred out? Um, then let me know. Or if there's anything you would like to see different next time. See if I would like. Mm -hmm.